This is a Gradowski of WeAreChange.org here at the Hong Kong International Airport at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but I wanted to make a very important video about this whole Michael Flynn scandal because to me the story does not add up, not only from the mainstream media perspectives, but also from within Donald Trump's administration. There is a lot of inconsistencies and I think a bigger picture and more possibilities here that many people are not talking about. Now, InfoWars ran a story saying, quote, the real reason why General Flynn was forced to resign. Their tagline line was that the military industrial complex is trying to sabotage Trump. But I think they forgot that this was Donald Trump's own personal decision in this matter. And you would think alternative media in today's day and age would understand that by worshiping someone, acting like they can't do anything wrong at any time leads to a cult of personality. But regardless of that, there were some important facts in the story that we will go over. But this whole Michael Flynn situation is causing Donald Trump's security team to be in turmoil. This is the beginning of Donald Trump's woes because he has just shown that he is weak and susceptible to mainstream media attacks. And of course, the mainstream media smells blood and they're going to go after this scandal like there's no tomorrow. Even CNN said that there are zero chances that journalists will, quote, move on from this Flynn scandal. And as WikiLeaks puts it, we are seeing a campaign here by the U.S. intelligence agencies, Democrats, and neocons and the U.S. mainstream media ultimately cheer on a deep state power play. And this is where InfoWars makes a valid point because Michael Flynn's conversation with the Russian ambassador were intercepted and then widely distributed inside of the government, which should raise a major red flag. And this does appear to be a well-orchestrated effort on an attack from intelligence agencies to undermine not only Michael Flynn, but Donald Trump's administration. And Donald Trump even tweeted himself, quote, the real story here is why there are so many illegal leaks coming out of Washington. Dennis Kucinich even backed up those claims and said that he pins this whole Flynn scandal on the U.S. intelligence community for leaking the information. And yes, it is a valid point to point out how now the liberals, neoconservatives with the intelligence agencies and mainstream media are openly expressing their demand for a deep state intervention into Donald Trump's administration, which should be extremely worrisome because we know these intelligence agencies have vast powers, sensitive secrets, and they are using it selectively in order to make major power plays inside of Washington, which does need to be exposed. And we did cover the very fact that Michael Flynn was a target of attack because he was was the one who exposed the United States ties to ISIS inside of the Middle East. And of course, the deep state wanted to attack him back. But here is where I think the disservice lies, because with InfoWars' article, they forget to mention that Michael Flynn wasn't really a peacenik himself. He was a neoconservative light version who openly called for war with Iran, which is a moronic foreign policy decision, which we have seen Donald Trump carry out by protecting Saudi Arabia. His head of the CIA gave them a medal for supposedly... <laughs> fighting terrorism. He didn't put them on the travel ban list, ultimately giving them a pass while being extremely hard on Iran. And of course, these issues are issues that the mainstream media will never bring up. We also need to understand in this whole scandal is that the FBI cleared Michael Flynn of no wrongdoing when it when they investigated his communication with the Russian ambassador. What Michael Flynn did was not illegal nor improper. We had Kellyanne Conaway, senior advisor to President Trump, come on the mainstream media national stage and say that it was Michael Flynn lying to the vice president, Mike Pence, that led to his ultimate resignation. But if it was really a lie to the vice president that sunk Michael Flynn, why wasn't he fired at the end of January? January when that lie happened. Why did Donald Trump choose Mike Pence over Michael Flynn, which doesn't really add up or make sense, and it's not even clear whether Flynn lied or not, and he says in his own resignation letter that he did not deliberately leave out elements of his conversation with the Russian ambassador when he was speaking with the Vice President Michael Pence. Now, Michael Flynn was under attack for the mainstream media ever since he was announced into Trump's administration, but Michael Flynn 
was not even allowed by the White House to defend himself. Over the weekend, he was instructed not to speak to the press when he was in the fight for his political career. His staff was not even allowed to review the transcripts of the calls to the Russian ambassador. Why was Michael Flynn sabotaged? Why was he thrown under the bus by Donald Trump and his administration? Which makes everyone ask, why the hell did Donald Trump do this? Is it really a military industrial complex coup d'etat like InfoWars calls, calls it? Or is it Donald Trump capitulating to the military industrial complex? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And again, here, we try to provide you both sides of the story so you can make up your own mind on the issue. And the only reason we are here doing this is because of your financial support, because of your donations, because of you voting with your dollar on patreon.com forward slash we are change and keeping real independent media alive subscribe stay tuned when more information comes to light about this very important topic you're going to hear it here first on youtube.com forward slash we are changed thank you again so much for watching subscribe stay tuned